Desert Amigos, A Traveling Tale, Spring 2020. It was another hot day in the desert. Jim was resting in his hammock with a fan on. Jim couldn't stop thinking about his best friend, Bob. They were in seventh grade and had been best friends since they were three years old. Jim loved having races with Bob. They were both really fast runners. Jim was worried about Bob. Bob has been sick for three weeks, and he missed the big race yesterday at school. Jim got first place in the race, but was sad that Bob wasn't there to run or celebrate with him. Before Bob got sick, he was the one who won most of the time. Jim's mom came to talk. She tried to make him feel better. It's going to be all right. I bet Bob went to the doctor and will get better soon. Why don't you go for a ride on your camel to calm down, she suggested. But mom, I just want to see Bob and make sure he is okay, Jim replied. Jim had a idea. He thought about things that make him feel better when he is feeling sick. He likes watching movies, getting lots of rest, having visitors, eating favorite snacks, drinking lots of water, and taking medicine. Then Jim knew what to do. He decided to ride over to Bob's house to help cheer him up. Jim got all ready to go. He gave Jennifer his camel some water. He got a bag filled with things Bob would like, including his favorite snack. He told his mom where he was going and set off on his way to visit Bob. Along the way, Jim started walking side to side. The wind started to blow. The wind blew harder and harder. The sand started to rise up into the wind. It was a sandstorm. He was scared. Then Jim saw a doctor's office up ahead. He ran into the office just in time. Jennifer stayed outside. Jim was feeling stressed out. The office was giving out flu shots. So Jim decided to get one because he didn't want to get sick. He also wanted to make sure Bob stayed healthy. After the shot, the sandstorm was getting worse. The doctor's office let Jim's camel come inside. Jim asked his doctor, Dr. Roberts, can you come with me to my friend's house? My friend is sick and has stayed home for three weeks. Dr. Roberts said I have special medicine for you. I will bring my medicine and my doctor bag with me. Once the sandstorm stopped, they headed outside. Jim saw a prickly pear cactus. He heard that the cactus could help people be healthy, so he took a piece just in case. Dr. Robert and Jim traveled across the desert on Jennifer the camel. It was very hot. Jim carried a car cactus, excited to help Bob. What they didn't know is there, that there's a virus in the air. Jim got to the house and saw Bob's mom and dad. Mom said Bob is still very ill. What a new virus called camel flu. Jim said, oh no, we came here on a camel. Everyone was scared. Soon everyone got sick, but not Jim. He had his shot. And already some pecatters. He's feel very lucky.
Jim said, "I want everyone to feel better." Jim called the vet. He felt bad for Jennifer the camel. The vet came as fast as she they could. The vet put a mask on Jennifer and gave her a special shot. Jim turned on the TV. He found out that the camel food was made because of pollution and global warming. This came from factories, cars, and trash.